for coming. Uh, we're very excited for this uh, event. Uh, this is the first time we placed in and uh, put in uh, five national teams in, in one event. Uh, so uh, see you March 19 on uh, Saturday. Thank you. And next we have, of course, is a young man that I've always admired as a fighter and as a human being, both in and out of the ring. Milan Melindo. Do you think you have a chance of knocking out Melindo? Sí, tengo preparado para los 10 rounds y el local me llega solo, en un punto. Yes, he will knock out Melindo. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, let's see the fight now. Okay. On Saturday, be ready for a war because I've prepared myself, I've been sparring hard rounds with some of the best guys in the U.S. and I'm an exciting fighter and it will be a fight that people will be talking about for a long time. Thank you. fighter, <laughs> He says if uh, uh, Steve Claggett's style is aggressive, then he'll be as aggressive as Steve. So uh, that's his answer. You, know. you, can, you can tell him that he won't have to come after me. I'll be on him already. <laughs> For our foreign guest, Khosalem uh, said that uh, I know I uh, I know Steve has a, a lot of power, but I won't underestimate his and I won't underestimate his power. But uh, I just want him to know that I also have got some power my uh, myself, and uh, I'm going for it. Be over here on uh, Saturday night. It's going to be fun, and uh, everyone come out because if he he wants a bang and he wants to fight hard with me, that's what I like. The OPBF uh, flyweight champion is kick and fight, Rocky Fuentes. And uh, from Indonesia, Jerry Gobel. And trainer Errol Harold Van Roon. And then the interpreter, Johandri Josef Diaz Alvi. Uh, from Japan, Kenichi Yamaguchi. Sato Goro, the Japanese interpreter Megumi Furui, and the manager Minuro Arata. Then we also have uh, another top, top young man, Romeo Akosalem. And this kid is one of the most promising fighters we've seen in a long time. And the late Rudy Salud uh, told me uh, just a couple of months ago, he said, I hope I can live to see AJ Bazooka Banal become a world champion. Maybe he didn't live to see him become a world champion. Up there in the heavens, we will see him someday become a world champion. AJ Bazooka Banal.
that are beginning to show as a result. Boxing is a tough business. It's a tough business. Michael Aldegare. Next to Michael is, is a long time. I don't know whether this guy is married to a Filipina, he's got Filipina girlfriends or what, but he's always here. But he's really doing a good job with the World Boxing Organization. And uh, the highest honor given him recently was when Mr. Paco Valcacel told me in Las Vegas, you know, Ronnie, Leon Panoncillo is going to be the supervisor for the Manny Pacquiao Sugar Shane Mosley. Then I've got this tough little guy from Mexico. He looks menacing. Rosento Vega. And him, of course, is another guy we see all the time in the rain, in the corner, carrying flags, holding a towel while they win. <laughs> and doing all sorts of things that sometimes complain. Mike Lopez, the interpreter. Next to uh, Mike is, uh, who's a very good friend, incidentally, is a, a gentleman who is a trainer of Vega, who actually fought Ricardo Lopez twice, right? Senor Emilio Vega Ramirez. And then from Tanzania, Francis Mieyusho. And next to Francis is somebody we've always seen. He's always here. He shows up all the time, all the way from Tanzania. He dressed, he's all dressed up, but no place to go. <laughs> <laughs> My good friend, Emmanuel, and would you believe he takes his former Olympic boxer for the Moscow Olympics? I'm looking for a video, I can't find it. Okay, before anything else, maybe we should have a few words from uh, the press.